San Francisco is a restaurant town. We have thousands of restaurants, the most per capita of any city in the nation. However, fat stools and grease coming from restaurant kitchens causes major blockages in our sewers. We realize that you know not only do we have a, a grease problem that we have to work with restaurants on, but we're also a major consumer of diesel fuel for our fire trucks and muni buses. Uh, so why not take the cooking oil that's discarded from restaurants and have it chemically converted into something called biodiesel that can go into our muni buses? Um, so we started a program called SF Grease Cycle where restaurants could donate their cooking oil, uh, city staff would come by and collect it for free, and take it back to this warehouse to be um, polished and sent off to local biodiesel manufacturers to be converted into biodiesel that would then run our, our city fleet. Rudolph Diesel invented the diesel engine in the turn of the last century to run off of peanut oil. Uh, so we know that, that these engines are compatible with, use, with using cooking oil. What has to happen is um, biodiesel manufacturers simply have to thin out uh, the cooking oil, which is thicker than traditional diesel, just thin it out to where an engine wouldn't know the difference between biodiesel and diesel. Chemically what happens is biodiesel manufacturers will strip a glycerin backbone off of these nice long carbon chains and replace it with a methanol molecule so that you have these long free-flowing carbon chains that aren't linked together and that causes the material to be less viscous. Here's an example of um, the cooking oil that we collect. We've got um, good oil on top and then we've got the flour and the bacon bits on the bottom. This is the material that gets sent to the digesters where microorganisms will uh, digest this material and produce methane gas. Um, that offsets our need for natural gas to run our treatment plant. And then this good oil is exactly what gets turned into biodiesel. If you can think about your Weston jar at home, that oil is a lot thicker than the gasoline that you put into your car. So this is the material that needs to be stripped of the glycerin backbone so that these triglycerides can uh, flow very nice and smoothly. And you end up with a, a beautiful, pristine uh, fuel that won't clog injectors and uh, um, is no different in chemistry than, than traditional diesel, with the exception that it didn't take 150 million years to create. We collect about 30,000 gallons of used cooking oil each month and that's uh, about 25,000 to 30,000 gallons of diesel, fossil fuel, that's displaced, that we don't need to bring into the city. We actually know where our fuel for the city came from. Uh, we collect it from restaurants. We have a relationship with every single restaurant staff and owner. Uh, we hand it over to local biodiesel manufacturers. We know the names of these manufacturers. We know the people involved. They hand it back to our um, fuel vendors who blend the fuel with traditional diesel so that we have a 20% biodiesel and 80% diesel blend. Um, and then it gets back in our muni buses. So the, the muni bus that drives down the street past all these restaurants is actually running on oil donated from the restaurant.